So this is a new 14 inch MacBook Pro. And as you can probably see, it's pretty much identical to the previous generation M1 MacBook Pros in terms of appearances anyway. There have been a few upgrades to the MacBook. The Wi-Fi has been upgraded to Wi-Fi 6E and you get a 2.1 HDMI port. But I don't wanna go over that stuff in this video. Instead, I wanna talk about the issue of slow SSD speeds and whether it's actually a major problem because in some of my tests, it's not as bad as it seems. Either way, I'll let you decide. So you've probably heard by now that the SSDs on M2 Pros, specifically the 512 gig version, which is the one I have here, have slower SSD speeds than the previous generation. And I can confirm that is true using Blackmagic's disk speed test tool. This apparently doesn't seem to be the case if you upgrade to the one terabyte version. And that's all well and good testing large files, which is what the Blackmagic disk test tool uses. But what is it really like in real world scenarios? Well, after a bit of research, I came across a tool called Flexible IO Tester, FIO or FIO for short, which I found an article on Ars Technica. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And what's special about FIO is that you can run a test to say, read random blocks of data of five megabytes up to a total of one gig and run this for a period of 30 seconds. This is all configurable by the way, it's just an example. And at the end of the test, it will give you a very detailed report and it summarizes the rate of the read or write speed test during that period and the total amount of data read or written in the form of input output or IO, which is sort of a measure of throughput. Now I'm no expert on this tool and there are seriously a lot of configuration options for you to test various read write scenarios. But in my tests, believe it or not, the M2 Pro with 512 gigs is not as slow as you think. I ran a test for 60 seconds for reading one megabyte blocks of data and up to a file size of five gigs. And the M2 Pro managed to read speeds of 13 to 14 gigs per second. And the total input output came to about 820 gigs. Whereas the M1 Pro managed to read about 11 to 12 gigs per second and a total input output of about 700 gigs. So it seems M2 Pro is faster and has more throughput. Now I did a few more read write tests and M2 Pro actually comes out on top in the majority of cases. It's only when it comes to writing large files where it's slower. So does it really matter that the M2 Pro has a slightly slower write SSD speed? Well, in my other day-to-day -day testing, I tried to maximize the use of the M2 Pro. I did the usual exporting of videos in 4K with Final Cut Pro. I had several other apps open, both Chrome and Firefox, with well over 20 tabs. I ran software builds on Xcode and even with the slightly slower SSD speeds. The M2 Pro kept up. I didn't really notice a lack of performance. And to be honest, if no one had told me the SSDs were slightly slower and I didn't do any of these benchmark testing, I wouldn't really notice. In a way, it's not great that Apple have done this. You expect new products to have at least the same spec as the previous generation or better, but it's most likely due to the costings and the ongoing supply chain issue, which the whole world is sort of experiencing due to certain events happening around the world. And finally, that brings me on to, is it worth getting the M2 Pro? Well, it all depends on your situation and needs. If you have the M1 Pro or the M1 Max, I would say it's not really worth the upgrade. If, however, you haven't got your hands on any of the Apple Silicon Macs and you're thinking of upgrading, then yeah, you're not gonna be disappointed with the M2 MacBook Pros, even the 512 gig version. The biggest performance leap you'll experience is from Intel Macs to Apple Silicon, regardless of M1 Pro or M2 Pro. But, if you wanna save a bit of money, I say go for the M1 MacBook Pros. There is nothing wrong with the previous version. They're just still as performant and will be for the next good few years. So yeah, have a look at the Apple refurbished store. Have a look at local retailers in your region. You'll probably be able to pick up a, a pretty decent M1 MacBook Pro at a discount. And yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts so far of the M1 Pro or the M2 Pro, or if you're thinking of upgrading. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.